Hello there kitties, I'm Kerry, the vacuum tube witch, and today I'd like to repair the Marantz uh, SD62 type deck that has a little problem with the head adjustment because it sounds very muddy, it completely lacks uh, treble, and uh, I'll show you how to adjust it, the head and uh, also uh, clean the mechanism. It's gonna be pretty simple and uh, while I'm at the bench I will also do a little teardown and uh, we'll take a look inside uh, the, in the case of this type machines. So let's get to the bench. And that will be it. The deck itself, it's uh, pretty simple and elegant uh, looking at it. The way, uh, the way I see it here. And uh, the best uh, way to get to the, the head and the mechanism is just Injecting the tape and uh, sliding off the cover. And uh, right here we can see the, the tape heads. Also uh, the, the mechanism. Uh, like the, the capstan is here. First of all, the, the deck will need some uh, good cleaning. Looking for a Q-tip. Some isopropyl alcohol. Accessing the, the head from uh, from the front uh, is very easy. This deck is uh, quite a good one because it has a separate recording and play head. If the problem persists, it will be necessary to replace the head. Hope it's not the case. The pinch roller also needs some cleaning. Yeah, it is cleaned. I'll test it by listening with my headphones on.
cleaning the head uh, helped uh, a lot already because the last time I listened to this tape it was very muddy it, uh, it completely lacked treble now I would say that it sounds quite nice I will also um, try to correct the diagonal head adjustment because this affects um, the treble performance uh, um, a lot. In order to do that, one of the one of the bolts uh, next to the head it uh, it has to be moved uh, in and out. This would be this one. The one to the right. I will do it uh, when listening to the cassette. Sounds pretty nicely now. Time to connect the um, tape deck to the amplifier. By the way, notice the vacuum fluorescent display on this one. Pretty nice. Time to put the cassette door back on. And let's try it. Pretty good. So, let's move on to a little teardown. Because I wouldn't be myself if I couldn't take a look uh, at uh, what a device uh, looks on the inside. It has uh, three screws on each side. Pretty tight. That's a good sign.
also has a screw on the back. Shock hazard, do not remove schools. <laughs> Those copper screws look nice, with attention to detail. Lifting the cover, oh, it looks nice. And then the main board, oh, the silk screen layer on, on this one, very nicely designed. Some of the some of the parts, uh, the resistors here, are lifted uh, above the band, above the the board. See? Ain't that a thing of beauty and a joy forever? I won't be taking the tape deck uh, and apart any further because I don't need to. <coughs> but uh, that's a thing that I wanted to show you uh, how it looks like. It's uh, it's my uh, it's uh, my first look. Um, at uh, what's found uh, in the enclosure, the, the type mechanism, of course, with a uh, pretty soft uh, eject bar. All of uh, this uh, mechanism uh, is uh, touch controlled, so. It, uh, it has uh, a few solenoids for starting the rewind playback uh, and so on functions. One, uh, one of those solenoids is here. I guess that uh, there might be one more. And uh, the mechanism has uh, two motors. The integrated circuits in here is uh, HU100101 The other one is hmm, CXI1331S Another CXI four zero sixty six and uh, and one more C twelve B seven CI, I guess. And uh, and there's uh, something like uh, two op-amp uh, op amps uh, on this side. Also the display section. This I might actually try to take the board out to to show you how the VFD looks like, because this is the interesting part. Mm, 
Not a very complex disassembly. Lots of schools. And the bird goes off pretty nicely. All using the tact switches, none of that uh, contact rubbish rubbish. And of course the VFD. Beautiful. Normally it's placed behind a screen that uh, also acts as a filter probably the anode uh, driving transistors here and look how beautiful this PCB looks and then the blue solder mask and nicely routed traces fantastic Love the build quality on this type dock. Those are the op-amps that I mentioned before. There's a um, record lever potentiometer here. There are also some uh, other potentiometers. This one is for the headphones and there's a headphone jack next to it. This is for the bias level and this is for the record balance. Being able to set the bias level on the tape deck, it's uh, quite, a, quite an uh, uncommon feature that uh, you mostly notice on, uh, on uh, high-grade uh, equipment, uh, the regular DACs uh, don't really have that. They might have a uh, switch for the bias uh, to change it for, for the chromium and, uh, and metal types uh, if you need that, but, uh, but no real adjustment uh, of the level. And here you can do it. And uh, this is the main part. It features a power switch and a metal oxide varistor. I can't see any fuels on it. Can't see a uh, fuels in the device. Uh, so uh, probably the only safety measure that um, the type deck has might be a thermal fuels uh, in the power transformer but uh, other than that uh, i can't see any fuses Okay, let's put it back together and the repair is concluded.
So, to conclude, the tape deck needed the head cleaning, the head adjustment now was not uh, all that off, and uh, I'm pretty glad that I took a look um, inside, just to show you how it looks like, and uh, to experience it myself, because I... Uh, haven't ever worked on a uh, Marant type deck. And until next time, bye!